Hey everyone, I just wanted to put together a short video for everyone. Uh, the five reasons people fail when selling their own home. Obviously, it's a big concern. So I want to teach you guys uh, how you can avoid making those same mistakes and make sure you get yourself a great result. So just quickly, a little bit about us. My name is Daniel Baxter. I'm one of the co-founders here at Your Hot Property. We specialise in helping people uh, to sell their own home for the very first time. So number one, the big one, look, people want their properties to scream for sale by owner. And it's just wrong. Look, you're not the attraction. Your property is. So make sure you make it all about your property and, you know, all the features of it. So there's just no need to advertise that the owner's selling the home. There really isn't. Look, just advertise the property. People are wanting to buy your home, so don't make it all about you. Look, our tip, make sure you use a company that looks just as professional as any of your, you know, the best local agents in your area. That means you're competing on a level playing field right from the start. Number two, look, advertising in the wrong places. If you're not on Australia's two largest and most popular real estate websites, you're facing an uphill battle to get your home sold. Over 90% of people are now looking online for their next property, and when they do that, they're looking on realestate.com.au and domain.com.au, so ultra important to be on both. And look, our tip, don't waste your money on expensive print advertising. Look, it looks fantastic. The problem is just not enough people looking at it these days to make it worth the money. Next one, getting the pricing wrong. And look, we've all, we all know this, you know, this will kill any sale before it even gets going. So, you know, asking too much will scare people off. So, you know, we don't want to be greedy. Asking too little and you do yourself out of money. So pricing your property to meet the current market, that's what you need to do. Look, our tip, educate yourself. You know, do your homework, look at properties in your area similar to yours, compare apples with apples, you know, get a CMA report, that's a current market analysis. And obviously, ensure you get expert advice when it comes to setting your asking price. And, you know, that's something we, we, you know, we put a lot of effort in because we want to make sure we help our clients get that right. And look, number four, presentation. Poor presentation can either equal no sale or reduced offers. And look, clutter is a killer. Um, you know, we've all seen those homes that got stuff everywhere. Don't let yours be that one that, you know, leaves people with a foul taste in their mouth when they leave. Look, most buyers can't see the hidden potential of a property. So, you know, make sure that you give them every chance uh, to see yours for everything that it really is. Our tip, definitely look, amateur photos used to advertise your property will definitely reduce the number of views online and also people attending your inspection. So make sure you've got photos that do your home justice. Number five, going it alone and not knowing what to do. And look, it's all well and good to sell your own home. You know, fantastic, everybody wants to avoid commission. But if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to face an uphill battle. So look, advertising online and hoping for the best is just not good enough. Now ensure you're prepared. Now I guess our tip, make sure you've got expert advice when it comes to, you know, the whole sale because, you know, if you've got help when it's about, you know, people coming to inspect your home, you know what to do, you're going to feel confident and obviously the big one negotiating, if you've got help then, look, that's often, you know, where our service will pay for itself 10 times over because we make sure our clients get the very best prices possible. So how do you avoid these pitfalls? Number one, definitely, look, don't try and do it all yourself. Um, you know, there's expert help out there and you just don't have to do that anymore. So, you know, get the help and use it. Number two, look, saving a couple hundred dollars in the beginning could likely cost you thousands of dollars on the back end of your sale. And ultimately, this is probably your largest asset. So, you know, it's not the time to, you know, do things really cheaply when it's selling your home. The next one, following our seven steps to sale guide. If you follow these steps, you're giving yourself every chance of a great result. And look, our tip, obviously, look, we're here to help. So make sure you take advantage of our knowledge and experience. And obviously, look, would you like to know a little more? Do you want to know what you know what happens next? How you can uh, find out some more from us? Reach us at thirteen hundred three three seven six five three. Obviously, our website uh, and email below. So yourhotproperty.com.au. Good luck with the sale of your own home. Um, if you would like to find a little bit more about us, we look forward to speaking with you soon.